Hello everyone and welcome to the next edition of our artifact video series here at the Holland Land Office Museum. My name is Ryan Duffy and I'm the director of the museum and this week we're going to talk about a, a very interesting piece that we have uh, and one that we just recently discovered how important it really is. Uh, so behind me is a poster from a show by William Russell who was a famous magician here from Batavia. So we're going to go through a little bit of his life and his importance to the magic community, not just here locally, but also across the entire country. Uh, one that rubbed elbows with many famous uh, magicians as well. So William Billy Russell was born in 1880 uh, and always had this fascination with showmanship and magic. Uh, so as a teenager, he actually started his own traveling show uh, around 1898 called A Night in Wonderland, which is what the poster is from, and he did many various tricks and, and illusions uh, during his shows and traveled across seven states uh, in the Northeast uh, Mid-Atlantic region and did this for several years and became rather well known on the circuit. Uh, he then transformed into a vaudeville act on stage, uh, particularly with the popularity of motion pictures. Uh, but he didn't really enjoy that because he was doing a large number of shows every single week and it really wore him down. So he decided to shift back into just his magic routine and doing a lot of school and small group shows versus his large traveling shows that he was used to before. Eventually Russell settles here in Batavia and lives at 237 West Main Street. Um, he, that becomes sort of the center of the magic community here in, in Batavia. Uh, now, Russell was very much uh, ahead of the magic movement uh, in the United States and really was one trying to bring the community together and, and promote uh, the craft that he was such a fan of. Now, when he was still doing his touring act and shortly after, he actually was the go-to man for other famous musicians in testing out their tricks and making them seem impossible yet easily done. This even went for people like Harry Houdini and Howard Thurston. Uh, now, it was actually Russell who tried and tested a couple of Houdini's tricks in order to perfect them. This included the milk can trick and the paper bag trick, which allowed uh, things to move in and out or even a magician without things being destroyed, which was kind of deemed impossible. And he also developed uh, crystal ball tricks, hoop tricks like is seen in the poster here, uh, crystal clocks, floating balls, uh, things like that, and also perfected one uh, that was then given to Thurston and became like the standard. It's called the fishbowl trick, uh, balancing a fishbowl on a, a platform that was much too small for the fishbowl, yet it was still able to stay upright. Uh, and it was Russell who perfected all these tricks. Uh, in the 1930s, he was a president of Ring 4 of the International Brotherhood of Magicians, which was uh, the uh, international group of magicians and his ring four stretched from Erie, Pennsylvania to Syracuse. So about 400 magicians in that era and he would have conventions and a lot of times it was at his home here in Batavia. Uh, so we know in 1932, in 1934 and in 1936 they were all here in Batavia and between 400 and and uh, or between 40 and 50 magicians would come each time and do tricks throughout the city and have various shows on stage and parades and all sorts of things. Uh, and he brought in some rather big names to do straight jacket tricks and disappearing acts and uh, swallowing tricks. All the things that we think of are with the magic sideshows was going on here in Batavia because of Mr. Russell. Now in the 40s, as things started to slow down, he actually got to writing uh, books to teach others how to do magic. Now the book that he finished around 1947 called Tricks of the Magic Trade, which really became the Bible for practicing magicians after that. Uh, he was also the president of the West New York uh, Alliance of Magicians, as well as the Batavia Magic Club, which met in his home. But he did all this while he still worked a rather mundane job. Uh, he worked at a grocery store just uh, a few steps away from his home. Uh, and did that while still doing all his magic tricks and producing magic uh, um, paraphernalia as well. Um, now, Mr. Russell continued to do his magic well until 
into older years and actually did up until his death in 1966. Uh, so he lived a life of magic and tried to bring that to as many people as he could. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of our artifact video series and learned a little bit more about the magician William Russell. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a little bit and gets you notified even quicker when we do release new videos. Uh, and there's well over, uh, getting close to 170 videos now in this playlist, so you can go back and watch all of them and give them a thumbs up if you like them going all the way back. But as always, the best way to learn more about the artifacts we share in these videos is to stop by the museum and see them for yourself, as we'll share even more information and you get to see some of them at least up close and personal. And if you really do enjoy what we do at the Holland Land Office Museum and enjoy the local history of Genesee County in Western New York, uh, the best way to support us is to become a member of the museum. That's going to be as low as $25 for the year, and it allows us to do all sorts of programming just like these videos.